Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm a junior chemical engineer and engineering public policy double major here at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm from LB, New York. The College of Engineering here at Carnegie Mellon is one of the best ranked uh, engineering schools in the nation. But really, in addition to that, uh, the, the fact that they valued the industry's input and were actually preparing students to go out in the real world um, and succeed in their jobs is something that I valued. They also challenge you. Um, so you're not just there going through the motions. Um, you're being challenged every day to continue to push the envelope, to innovate, to research. Um, so at the end of your four years here, you're really prepared to do any and every engineering job out there. Most recently, um, I spent a summer in the communications industry. So I was able to do web development and also training. And that was one of the places where I started really applying my EPP skills. Engineering and public policy um, is kind of that gap between the engineering side and the public policy side. Um, a lot of times, public policy majors have very little technical knowledge, and vice versa, engineering majors have very little public policy knowledge. So engineering and public policy really addresses bridging that gap between technical and non-technical. Um, so a lot of engineering Engineering majors will focus on some aspect that bridges the two. So I'm the student body vice president for organizations. Um, so I am pretty knowledgeable about all 300 plus orgs we have. But the sense of belonging is something we value so much that we always allow students to apply to be a new organization. There's 40 new orgs that are coming out on this campus every single year. And at the end of the day, student government is so welcoming to recognize them because we really do understand that like the sense of the belonging here is something that we value so much that like if a group of students really are passionate about this and want to be involved in this, that there's no way that we should be able to turn them down. I've played um, soccer ever since I could walk. I was probably crawling and like pushing out a soccer ball. So coming to Carnegie Mellon, I think there was definitely that concern um, to the balance, making sure I still did well in school, but didn't want to lose who I was and what I valued as a child. So I um, tried out for the club soccer team um, and made it. And so that's really something that you know, has continued my passion for soccer. So at the end of the day, you know, not only is soccer a passion and something I'd love to do, it's also been a great experience to like, help me grow um, and develop as a person.